Hi, I'm host Eric here, host of Talking with Famous People, and I'm here today to answer the core question, are intelligence and personality dependent on each other? My answer is, yeah, absolutely. Here's the deal. We want to think that, we, we tend to think like, oh, you shouldn't say that, or you, then you're saying some types are dumb, and some types are smart, and, and like that, right? Well, pretty much that's true. I mean, it is true, right? But here's the problem with it, is we shouldn't be operating in a worldview in which we overvalue intelligence, or we value intelligence over other highly useful and desirable traits so uniformly that to say, it's fine to say like, oh, well, that type's more orderly than that type. That type's more loving than that type, you know, affectionate or whatever. But it's not okay to say that type's more smart than that type, intelligent. Well, okay, so let's talk. Let's tackle the problem from a framework perspective first of all. What do we mean by intelligence? I'd say there's two elements to it: linking and parsing. So the linkage part. Oh, this is from actually that's from an NE perspective, from an extroverted thinking perspective, an extroverted intuition perspective. There are two elements to it primarily because, well, and I'm sorry, from an Introverted thinking perspective, I think, is primarily linking. From an extroverted intuition perspective, I believe it's it just it it finds the the holes where parsing can occur. It it notes all the demarcation lines where distinctions might be made, divisions might be made, and it links well to uh, claims such that. ENTP is going to be the best at debate, probably. ENTP or INTP, one of the two. And they're going to sound really smart. And everyone's going to go, wow, you're so smart. But let's remember that they're manifesting intelligence in the visible spectrum of light, so to speak. And not all intelligence manifests quite so visibly. So one way then to think about intelligence, we'll say that INTP and ENTP are the, the smartest two types. Like I said, not all intelligence is in the visible spectrum, just as not all light is in the visible spectrum. Uh, and in fact, if you look at it from an introverted intuition perspective, you're going to see that, that kind of intelligence and those individuals who are really highly intelligent are a different kind of intelligence. And so when we're talking about ENTJ and INTJ, you're looking at an introverted intuition, extroverted thinking pairing. And for those types, they're going to be not nearly as quick on their feet, not not even remotely close to as improvisationally deft as the ENTP, which is the most improvisationally deft at thinking of all the types. ENFP being the most improvisationally deft at emotive stuff, probably, I would guess. Um, would make sense. I know ENFJ is a beast with the emotive stuff, but not so necessary so much with the improvisational part is the key element there. Regardless, each type, each cognitive function manifests as skills, abilities, being good at the thing to which it attends and values. And ultimately that's what cognitive functions are. So if you're looking at and ENTP, we value, first and foremost, change, disruption, messing with shit. And next, we value accuracy, consistency, logic. Third, we value your feelings. I'm very concerned about what you think about me. I don't want you to think I'm an asshole. I don't want you to think I'm dumb either. I want you to think, oh, that guy's really smart. He sure does say some insightful things. I want you to say all those things to yourself, not to me. I, I, I love it when people give me praise in comments on videos, but live in person praise can, can be a little bit more challenging. I tend to deflect it and just move on to talking about something more interesting, I guess, uh, for both parties. 
it's nice. I like it. It worries me a little bit, you know. Uh, sometimes you got to be careful. But I think that's why I metacognate so much. I think that's a, a core compo component of intelligence. ENTJ, INTJ, with introverted intuition, extroverted thinking, they are going to look at the same big pile of idea, big pile of possible facts or whatever. And ENTJ will go like this. Let's see. Hmm. And INTJ will go. Wait, 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 wait. And then, boom, they get their answer, their solvency. That kind of intelligence is all about solvency, solutions and practical, pragmatic outcomes. Extrovert thinking is not about whether it's the most logically consistent way to do it. It's about whether it's the most efficacious way to do it. Introverted intuition is not at all about possibility. It's about finalization. Introverted intuition is about discovered truth. Extroverted intuition is about created truth. So, when we are talking about intelligence, then, we should understand that it manifests on two primary vectors. The NITE vector and the NETI vector. As an ENTP, I'm on the NETI side. We ENTPs get along great with INTJs. I love INTJs. INTJs and I are golden. Why? Well, we're, we're the same. We're, we're mirrors of each other in a way, or opposite sides of the coin. We don't step on our to each other's toes at all. Yet we're both interested in the same kind of stuff. And we both recognize the brilliance of the other kind, the other type. And we appreciate each other. And for the ENTP, I can tell you, it is such, it's so relaxing to deal with them because you know you don't really have to do all that FE shit. They don't really care. And their, wor their way works with the FE shit than you are. So I can kind of like breathe easy. <sighs> He's not going to get all offended or whatever, you know, by, by some of my sight. <coughs> so, if those are the smart types, and then where do we go from there? Well, the next smartest type is going to be the specialist intelligence people. And those are these, these fifth and sixth people that I put in the smart group, personally. The intelligence group which are ISTP and ESTJ. And ESTJ is not necessarily smart at all. In fact, most of them choose to specialize in something that's not intellectual. However, if you get an ESTJ that instead of specializing in his in air conditioning repair or instead of specializing in this, this business or that particular technique, you know, the STJs are specialists. And if you specialize in something academic or something like related to thinking, you have the capacity to be extremely good at whatever you focus on, better than the ENTP is at most anything. So you're going to be, if the ENTP does nobody wants to attack the ESTJ in their area of specialty. Because they are the best at that one narrow area of specialty. So I include them in that group for the ones who choose to focus on abstraction as a um, narrowed area of focus. On the other side, the uh, ISTP is leading with introverted thinking. You know, they're smart. Just as the ESTJ is leading with extroverted thinking. So, you know, they're smart as well. They just don't have that intuition in the second slot. They got sensory stuff. So they're going to be um, really smart about nailing down the algorithm. Not so great about disrupting it or coalescing grand new truths. So there, I would say that's sort of, if you wanted to make a hierarchy of intelligence, that would kind of be half a level lower. They're more execution rather than construction intelligence. All right. And then if you're looking at the bottom of the, 
the the list here of intelligence, well, at the very bottom you have ISFP, uh, ISFP, which is they lead with FI, and then they have SE. That's inverted feeling and extroverted sensing, and that's going to mean that they basically live in the moment, don't think about stuff. Their whole thing with introverted feeling is they want to feel good. They want, and then they have extroverted sensing. They want their body to feel good. They want to get a massage and sit in the hot tub and drink beers and and have sex and and they're if it's a girl, they're. Uh, as sexy as hell, they're not uh, untrustworthy at all. They, in fact, you can rely on them to execute the rules that they've learned about how they ought to behave in life. That's how they understand what to do is, is they learn the rules. If you ask them questions like, well, how do you think you're thinking on that might evolve over the course of the next couple of years? They just you mean, am I still going to feel happy about it? it? It's fine, though. They're they're great people. And that's the thing. Just because they're stupid as hell doesn't mean that, that we have to dismiss them or dislike them or think less of them. I'm clumsy as hell, right? I'm super clumsy. So why is that so much more okay to say than you're stupid? Well, I guess stupid's kind of insulted. You're not intelligent. I mean, remembering that we define intelligence as flexibility with abstract models or uh, capacity to generate new insight and sound and smart, fancy talk. If those are the things you're, you're measuring intelligence by, then obviously ENCP is going to be way smarter than ISFP. ISFP is going to be, by comparison, dumb. That's okay, because we need to understand that as human beings, we give each other things that we need. When I want conversation with an NT, that's available. We can have intellectual conversation until blood comes out of my anus. It doesn't mean I necessarily have to also have sex with an NT, right? So why can't I have a marriage partner that's dumb? I've been married to a woman who at least sort of positioned herself as intellectual, and it wasn't very bright. I remember the woman who positioned herself as earthy and not smart, and she was way smarter than the first one. And she was way smarter than she understood and I understood, but in ways that we wouldn't toward necessarily typically associate with the word smart or intelligent. She was an ESFJ. And she was really, really effective in life. Highly effective. A beast. You know, power couple. When we were both, when there was a brief couple of years there we were both rolling along while we were a bit of a power couple, you know. She was a beast. I was starting to beast it up and starting to feel like a human being for a short stretch of time there for a couple of years when I went to Rebay for the first time. Mm. Yep. So don't dismiss people just because they're not smart. Intelligence is not that much more important than any other particular vector of uh, attention or valuing of things. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I answered your question adequately enough to justify your watching it. I hope to work out talking to the fans people.